morning. Hope you're doing all right. <laughs> Today's going to be about tapping. So I'm just waiting for everyone to join me. Appreciate you being here. <laughs> morning, 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 Lynn. <laughs> Very lovely to see you. Morning, everyone. I'm going to try something. I'm going to see if that... Oh. I'm going to try. Oh no. Does that work? Oh, look. I think I've made my. I've made the text bigger so I can read without my glasses on. Kezia, lovely to see you. Morning. I had, do you know, I had a lovely time away. It was our 30th wedding anniversary and we went to Jersey for the weekend. I've never been there before. It was very nice. Morning, Michelle. How are you? I hope you're all right. Thank you for messaging me. Um, I hope you're all right today really nice to see you too. Morning Vicky, morning Nadine. Oh lovely to see you Nadine. Well lovely to see you too Vicky but really nice, really nice to see you both. Morning RH, morning sunshine Lynn. <laughs> I'm so chuffed because normally I have to be glasses on, glasses off and to see the comments and I realise that if you slide it across the comments come in big text. So I can't see myself particularly, but I don't care about that. So I can read your comments without having my glasses on. <laughs> I'm so thrilled to aid my day. Good morning, Julie from California. Hello. Really nice to see you. Yeah, I had a lovely trip. Thank you. It was really nice. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, so I'm really glad you're here, Michelle. I'm really glad. Well, I'm glad everyone's here. It, this live is going to be about tapping. And I know I've done this before, but I thought it'd be a nice thing to do heading into the weekend. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, Laura, very nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> Lots of people joining us. I'm just sort of waiting a little bit um, until people are here. But um, really nice to see you. Lovely to see um, my moderators here. So, Vicky and um, Lynn, thank you very much indeed for being here. So, um, I've got some questions already. Um, and, oh, so that, yeah, so I'm thinking to myself, um, so today is gonna be about tapping, but um, I might note some, some, some questions down as well. Let's have a look. Oh, so Els, I'm moving to university in a week and I'm anxious to the point of dropping out any advice. Okay, so I'm going to make a note of that um, and do some advice. I did do a video on that. Uh, really, this tapping will really help you with that um, because, you know, university is going to be great and your brain is telling you stuff about it that is going to be really negative and actually it won't you know give it a chance at least give it till christmas you know and if, if not um beyond that so um thank you use use a 720 and then a long number i love your vibes helps my anxiety so much thank you oh it's my pleasure it's really 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 nice of you to say that i appreciate that so thank you. So um, let me see. Um, so today what I'm going to do, and I can see there's lots of um, lots of questions here, and I will make a note of some of them. So Laura, tips on insomnia. I'm, I've made a note of yours. So I've got so far from Elle's anxiety going to uni. Laura, advice on insomnia. Um, and loose, let's do yours as well. Constant shakes um, over the last few days is that anxiety. So for you, I think um, could well be anxiety, but with anything physical, always go to your doctor, go and have a wee chat with your, with your doctor um, because then they can check out if there's anything um, particularly um, um, medical going on and if there's not if they do all the tests and everything is fine then chances are it is the release of adrenaline that makes you makes you shaky so um, I would do that first and then perhaps have a look at some of my videos um, and hopefully 
um, hopefully that will be be helpful um, for you. So, so let me explain a little bit about who I am, what we're going to do today. Um, so I'm Sarah. Um, I'm a QCH therapist, which stands for Crest Cognitive Hypnotherapy, and um, I work with people who mainly who are experiencing anxiety, but a, a lot of the time stuff like you know fears um feeling stuck in their life feeling feeling down feeling depressed so lots of different types of people um and one of the techniques that i use is tapping or eft eft stands for emotional freedom technique um and we're going to do that today because you don't need any experience it's something that's really really um helpful Oh gosh, the white heart person, you're crying. Well, I'm really glad that you're here. I'm really glad that you're here. So um, hopefully this can help you. So you can be part of our little community here. And hopefully by the end of this live, you can feel a little bit um, more comfortable. So I don't know what's happening for you, but you take care, do stay with us, and hopefully this can help you. Um, this is a really safe space. I always want this community um, to be a, a comfortable place for people to be, a place where you can feel safe. And one of the ways that we achieve that is by having moderators. Um, and so I've got the lovely Lynn 250. I've got Vicky Hodgson here today. Um, and um, there are also other moderators that I have. I have Vicky Handlebars, Zan Shin and Jasmine. I've not seen them here today yet, um, but they are here to, to keep this a really nice, safe, friendly place. So kindness is the key word. So, so let me get on and talk a little bit about um, tapping. And I will come back to the three questions that I've taken a note of there from Els, Laura and Luce. Um, so if you have to go, the three of you, then I totally understand that. But what I will do is I will upload this video to YouTube and you can get to my YouTube channel through my profile there's a link there so that you can perhaps watch it in your own time and I promise towards the end of the video I will answer your questions um, so I hope that's all right <laughs> um, so thank you so much for you know if, if you like my live if you if you share it to people who you think it might be useful for that's I really appreciate that so thank you for for all of that so let's start so so tapping is um it's a, a technique that helps with any um emotion that you're feeling any feeling that you're feeling and it brings um I don't think anyone really knows why it works <laughs> I think there's theories because you, you're tapping on the acupuncture pressure points um so you start on your karate chop point here then you move to the top of your head a point here in the corner of your eyebrow here on the edge of your eye socket um and underneath and then here here and then you've got uh if you feel here on your um collarbone you've got knobbly bits here and um, if you feel underneath, there, there'll be a bit that you'll feel which will be a bit tender. And that's the point that we're going to be, we'll just bang on that. Um, and then the last bit is along your side here. Whereas if you were wearing a bra, it would be where your bra strap went. So I'm going to explain all that. So you don't need to remember that. Um, so do do have a, do have a tap along with us. Um, and we do our setup phrase so what we say is even though I'm and you can do this um, you can do this depending on what you're feeling so maybe you can even well yeah look at perhaps look at the the YouTube video afterwards but I'll make it as general as possible for you so um, and I know Danielle asked me ages ago she said can you give us some phrases that we can use so I'm going to do that as well. So have a listen to the sort of phrases that I use and then you can adapt them for yourself. Um, so we start off by saying, even though I feel whatever it is you're feeling. So perhaps let's say today, even though I'm feeling anxious. And then we have a, another part of the setup, which is um, something much more positive. So even though I'm feeling anxious, I'm doing my best to help myself and I know that this will pass. Something like that. 
And we say that three times and then we start tapping. <laughs> so how does that how does that feel for you? Does does that make sense to you all? Oh, thank you for the people who are following me. That's very kind of you. Um yeah, does it does that make sense? Is that uh oh let me do that. Oh gosh, yes it does. Brilliant. <laughs> That's interesting because on the bit that I can see the the comments with big text, um I can't see the likes or the shares or anything. So um I appreciate I can see now I've just changed it back for a second so I can see the likes and the shares. Um, thank you for doing that because if you know you might know someone who you think oh blimey they're at work today but this would be helpful for them so if that's the case do if you have a look down the I think it's the right hand bottom bit there's a like a little arrow if you press on that you can copy the link for it you can just share it directly via a message to anyone who you think might be interested so <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm waffling let's get on let's get on and start so just do it along with me um, and we just start tapping on this first place here. So this is the karate chop point. So, and you can say it along with me or you can just say it in your head. So even though I'm feeling anxious today, I know that I'm doing my best to help myself and this will pass. Even though I'm feeling anxious today, I'm doing my best to help myself and I know that this will pass. Even though I'm feeling anxious today, I know that I'm doing my best to help myself and this will pass. And so now we move to this, the, the next tapping point, which is at the top of your head. And you just start tapping just gently with a couple of fingers. Um, so for anyone joining us, this is tapping. This is um, a coping technique. A calming technique for any negative feeling whether it's anxiety fear anger um, and we're just tapping and we're just being aware of what we're feeling and perhaps processing that telling ourselves that so you might start with this feeling this feeling that I'm experiencing I can feel it in my tummy and my chest it makes me feel a bit sick I'm just so worried about everything at the moment it's such a horrible feeling. I I hate it. I hate feeling like this. I hate feeling that there's any, there's something wrong with me, and I feel so alone. This feeling. I can feel it in my body. I can feel it in the overthinking that I experience. I'm worried about so many things. And then you move to the next tapping point and you can use this for anything. So if you're having, if you've got a driving test coming up, if you've got something coming up for you, you can tap on how you're feeling. So just tapping here and thinking, what is this feeling? So I can see here, Vicky's saying, I feel so breathless this morning, like I have a heavy heart. This, this feeling inside me. I just don't want it to be with me anymore and I work so hard to get rid of it but it stays with me. It's so difficult, this heavy feeling, this breathlessness, my heart aching. I just want this to be over. I want to, to make it feel so much better for myself. And then we move to the next tapping point and it it's weird isn't it that we're talking about how bad things feel but actually it doesn't make it feel worse it helps us to process so we're just thinking about this feeling and thinking about starting our sentence with this feeling the way I'm feeling at the moment I don't want to feel like this it makes me feel alone it separates me from other people I'm aware that I have an underlying low level of anxiety most of the time. If you have phrases that you want me to say, then just put them in the comments because I can see them and I can say them for you. Just thinking about this feeling that you're experiencing, the feeling in your body, the feeling in your mind, the sense of loneliness you might feel. And then just 
tapping underneath your eye here. And what you find is that you work through the negative and it comes through into a positive by the end. So you're not forcing positive affirmations on yourself. What you're doing is letting the mind process. So worrying about making mistakes on a driving test, worrying about going to counselling, your counselling session perhaps, and just feeling exhausted for the rest of the day. And that's, that's okay to feel these feelings because it's normal to feel emotional. It's normal perhaps to just let the feelings process come through. It's normal to feel this sense of overwhelm and this can begin to feel different the more we tap, the more we're with that feeling, the more we're accepting and acknowledging that it's here for a reason. That sense of being alone and being scared of the anxiety that we're feeling. Because it's a, just an awful feeling, that feeling of fear. Because quite often we can worry that this is going to be with us forever. That there's something really wrong with us. But we're okay. This is a natural, a natural feeling. And this tapping can help. It's okay to cry. It's okay to cry, it's okay to let the energy release because this is working on acupuncture, pressure points on the meridians. Just letting the energy be released, let it flow through you. Just let it all out. And then going to under this part here. And we're just, for any of you tapping any of you joining us, we're tapping because this is um, a technique that has been shown, statistics show that it reduces anxiety by about 40%. Um, the levels of cortisol reduce by 25% when we're tapping. Um, and if you work through a, a flow of tapping, then it can make a huge difference. So I was totally sceptical um, when I first trained in this. It was part of my course. But actually, it it's, makes a huge difference. So even though it might be weird, it can be helpful. Just thinking about how you're feeling, knowing that this is something that you can work through, that there's a reason that you're feeling like this, and that you are still a good person, you're still an amazing person and you have every right to be proud of yourself, every right to be in this world, every right to begin to be able to feel calmer. And sometimes it doesn't matter why this works or how it works, I don't think people really know Maybe it's because of distraction, maybe it's because we're talking through how you're feeling. And maybe it's something else. But just tapping, acknowledging how you're feeling and knowing that this is a temporary feeling, working our way through. And just tapping underneath your chin here. So just, just tap along with me. Just thinking about what you're feeling, whether you're anxious, afraid, nervous, whether you're feeling alone, maybe you're feeling emotions coming through and if they do come through that's okay, just keep tapping, that's right, the feeling in your heart, the feeling in your tummy, the feeling in your muscles, just aware of your muscles beginning to soften, everything beginning to slow down. 
and just beginning to feel that sense maybe of a little bit of gratitude, gratitude for this community, for the moderators that I can see are answering people's questions and gratitude for yourself that you've brought yourself here today. And then just banging on this this part underneath your collarbone, either side, it doesn't matter which side you tap, whether you tap both sides, one side, whether you change sides, it's absolutely fine. It's that gentle tapping on that tender part. And I think, yeah, perhaps you never know, a baby might find this really helpful. Just tapping on these particular places, just gently. Just working your way through what you're feeling and allowing yourself to understand that it's okay, it will pass. Just slowing everything down. And perhaps feeling that need to sigh, maybe to yawn. knowing that it's okay to feel. So often we bottle everything up because we perhaps feel frightened, perhaps we feel ashamed, perhaps we feel the stigma of being who we are, but we have every right to be who we are. Every single person here has a place in the world. You have a place in the world. You contribute fact that you're here and doing this, the people that you meet in your day today will appreciate you. Sometimes people you don't even really know that you've touched. And then just going here and just tapping where perhaps a bra strap would be. And anyone can use this therapy. This is for any feeling that might be a bit negative helps with anxiety, helps with anger, helps with fear. Just brings you to a place of so much more calm. And I have to say, I forgot at the beginning to get you to measure where you were, to give yourself a score. But when we finish in a moment, just this first round, I'm going to ask you what difference it made for you. That's it, just tapping it just feels right to bring it to a close and stop so how did that how did that feel for you can you can you feel a difference in how you're feeling now um it was it, it's it's a strange thing and i know that when i first started doing it i thought oh this is a bit silly isn't it what am i doing all this tapping but actually, the more I do it and the more I practice, the more I learn about it, um, the more I share it with people. It's, um, it's a pretty amazing technique because it's something that you can do wherever you are. You don't have to do the whole thing. You can just quietly be tapping on this karate chop point. So if you're um, in, in an office, if you're in the shops, wherever you are, you can just have this in your lap and just be just be tapping so let me see um see how everyone's doing so oh claire i'm sorry that you started to feel panicky um so michelle michelle that released a lot of emotions for you made you cry okay also lou the psychotherapist you're an eft practitioner too brilliant um there's lots of ways that we can use eft um you know there's something perhaps i might do another one with this which is picture tapping um so what i might do is ask you to to bring some some paper and some some pens with you because that's quite an interesting technique to do um let's have a look how's everyone um let's have a look yeah so i'm hoping that that was helpful um, it's one of those things that it works on the acupuncture meridians, the acupuncture pressure points. It's also distracting your brain. It's helping your mind work through um, 
your thoughts and feelings. It's bringing your attention to your thoughts and feelings. Some people believe that it allows the energy to flow more freely through the meridians and so it can release emotions. It's not unusual at all um, to to feel emotion. A lot of people um, cry and get upset. Um, um, and the more you do it, the, um, the better you can feel. So it's about beginning to tap with a setup phrase, and we'll perhaps we'll do another another one. Maybe I'll remember this time. Maybe if you if you think about how are you feeling now, if you were to um, score yourself out of ten, so zero is completely calm and fine. Ten is really um, feeling anxious, feeling um, a feeling that's uncomfortable and difficult for you. Um, so have a think about what that number is and then we'll do another round and this time what I'm going to do is <coughs> perhaps use some of the words that I've seen so if you have some words or some feelings that you'd like me um, to use in this next round then perhaps if you share them with me um, and I'll have a look um, oh, so yeah so Michelle listening watching and copying was calming and then you felt the emotions but that's absolutely fine um, and we'll do another one and hopefully that can bring you through to a place where you feel calmer. And Nikki, you're feeling calm and relaxed. That's, that's really great. Um, so I can, Claire, I can see um, your question. I'll make a note of that. Um, um, and I'll, I'll come to that um, at, at the end because there's some really great um, places that you can go to, to help um, getting over um, a trauma like, like you've experienced. Um, let's have a look. So, thank you so much if you're following me. That's so lovely. Um, oh, yeah, and I'm really glad. <laughs> so, Tashina um, Rose, Walking Eagle, um, I'm really glad that you found me too. So, tapping is a, a really great... Um, a really great thing to do. So let, let's do another round, shall we? So so just give yourself a score as to um, where you are right now. So zero is um, absolutely fine, 10 is not fine. Just score where you are, and then we'll do another round of tapping, and um, we will see how you feel at the end of it. We'll do another score at, at the end of it, okay? So, um, so let's start. Ah, oh, look, so, okay, so you've got, so your scores are, uh, seven zero nine eight eight okay so so let's let's see how they are at the end of this next thing so we're going to do it again so tap along with me um, and let's see if we can bring those scores down a little bit so we're just tapping and we're going to say even though I'm feeling this really difficult emotion right now I know that I'm doing my best to help myself I'm okay and I'm a good person even though I'm feeling this really difficult emotion right now, I know that I'm a good person and that I'm working on sorting this out, helping myself, and that it will be okay in time. Even though I'm feeling this difficult emotion right now, I know that I'm working on helping myself and that this emotion will pass in time. Um, two or three just tapping this feeling that I'm feeling it's so difficult and I feel so stuck in the way I am in my life at the moment I've been through so much and it's really difficult for me to share to be able to let anyone know how I'm really feeling I'm not sure anyone really understands how I feel it's such a difficult difficult thing to feel this anxiety, this fear, this sense of just not being quite right. I just want it to go. I'm sick of it now. I want to feel the things that I see other people feeling. I want to feel calmer. I want to feel safer. I want to feel more me again. And then we go to this point here. So we just tapping, this feeling that I'm experiencing, beginning to feel it, perhaps beginning to change, 
perhaps beginning to feel freer. Noticing that sense of needing to breathe, needing to let go. Just helping myself to acknowledge, helping myself to begin to be kind to myself, to be proud of myself, even though that perhaps feels difficult sometimes. I'm worthy of that pride, I'm worthy of that sense of me being enough, even though I might not feel it completely yet. I'm working on it. I'm working on it and that's okay. These small steps each day, beginning to be kind to myself. Small steps, that's enough, it's okay. And then moving here to this next tapping point. Just noticing how I'm feeling now. Noticing the flow of emotion. The understanding that I'm okay. Perhaps like a little seed in the darkness beginning to emerge. A sense of perhaps this can work for me. Perhaps things can begin to change. And it's okay if I take two steps forward and a step back. And if I feel like I'm going to cry, that's okay. Because there's so much pent up fear, anxiety inside me. If I allow myself to cry, then perhaps I can let some of that go. Just release some of that energy into the world, away from me and perhaps begin to imagine a new energy flowing into me. An energy of calm. An energy of safety. An energy of perhaps getting back to being me. Just letting go. And then tapping underneath here. I'm wondering when this starts to flow away, what it's going to be replaced by, perhaps a calmness, perhaps a peace, perhaps something else that just feels a little bit more, a little bit more positive, a little bit more resilient. And I can tap for as long as I want to, whether I just tap for a minute, whether I tap for longer than that is absolutely fine. I can do this in the way that feels right for me because we're all different. We're all different and I'm different but that's okay. I'm me and being me is enough. Just taking my time, letting the feelings flow. And then going to this part underneath our nose, just above our top lip. That sense of understanding that I don't have to be perfect. It's enough to be me. And every day I'm changing, I'm learning, I'm growing. And some days are difficult. But within those difficult days there are moments tiny sparkles of peace, of connection, sometimes even joy, that sense of gratitude that here we all are, all of us together, in this life, in this community, and it's okay, it's okay to let emotions go, it's okay to cry, it's okay to not cry. <laughs> Just being a part of this thing we're doing together. Part of humanity. We could even imagine people all around the world tapping. Maybe not part of this life, this community. But just living in their homes. Maybe sitting outside. 
who knows, experiencing the same feelings or similar feelings, working their way through their fears, their anxiety. Tapping underneath your, your top, your bottom lip on your chin. Just taking your time, aware of the feelings in your body, whether that's all over, whether that's in your throat, your heart, your tummy, your arms, perhaps becoming aware of muscles that you hadn't been aware of before now, and as you become aware, just softening, letting go. If you feel the need to yawn or sigh, just letting that go, just taking your time, just being with it, trusting the process, letting go. And then just feeling for the tender points underneath your, your collarbones and just tapping there. You can tap with, with fingers, but or you can tap with, with your hand like this. It's okay. There's no real right or wrong. You can't go too far wrong with tapping. <laughs> just, just being, all of us together. This sense of acceptance, of letting go, of understanding that it's okay not to be perfect. It's okay to make mistakes because we learn from them. We learn and we grow and then the next time we do it, it feels easier. <laughs> Just taking your time. Just being. Being who you are because that is absolutely good enough. And just tapping underneath here, underneath your arm. Just taking your time. Aware of a new sense of being, a new feeling. Just letting everything go. Understanding that you are okay. And the more you do this, the easier life can feel, the easier it is to cope with the difficult days, the difficult feelings. And then just drawing that to a close and just, just holding yourself, just taking a moment to hold yourself, to just be. Maybe closing your eyes if you need to. Just breathing and being, holding yourself until it feels right to just let go. So that's two rounds of tapping that we've done there. So, and that's probably taken longer than, you know, you can do that more quickly. It's about doing it in the way that just feels right for you, really. It's a very individual thing. Um, Nadine, you are absolutely enough. You are absolutely enough. And I love that you're part of this community. <laughs> you are really special and it makes me smile when I see you here. And I know that the other moderators, Lynn, Vicky, we all feel the same way. It's the same for everyone that's here. You know, it's, it's so easy to get to a place in our life because of the things that have happened to us, the things we've experienced. We get perhaps that sense of we're not good enough, we've failed in some way. None of us, none of us are failures. We're just us. We do our best. We have good days. We have difficult days. And we learn and we grow as time goes on. None of us are who we're going to be yet, are we? So... I'm so glad that you're all here and I'm so grateful that you're all here. <laughs> I'm glad that you like being here, Nadine. Um, 
so so where where do you say you are now where have you gone from so we were we were talking earlier about giving yourself a score between 0 and 10 so let me know what number did you start at and what number are you at now so zero is is completely fine and chilled and relaxed and 10 is um the worst it could be where did you start out and where are you now so let's see oh chloe eight to five that's brilliant vicky wow that's so good nine to a three that's fantastic <laughs> oh kathleen that's so nice to have you here i'm so glad i'm so glad you're here so rh you've gone six to four that's so brilliant um and if it hasn't worked for you, then that's okay. Don't despair. Don't despair at all because you know there's there's it's this is part of a whole a whole thing that we do. Um, so Michelle, you were a ten and now you're a six or seven. That's amazing. That's brilliant. So Tashina Rose, Walking Eagle, eight to a two, and you're falling asleep. I love that. So <clears throat> oh, I can't see that. Um, Kathleen, six to a two, brilliant. That's so good. Um, Sophie Jane Evans, ten to a six or a seven now. Nadine, ten to a four or five, yay! And you imagine if you were to do this every day, then how cool would that be? That you were able to, even if it's just for a little while, but over time you bring yourself to this place. So, uh, Eileen, it's so nice to see you. <laughs> I don't know if it, if it increases circulation, but it's so lovely to see you here, Eileen. Um, coming all the way from Tennessee, that's so cool. It's really early in the morning for you. <laughs> oh, so that's so good. I'm really glad that, you know, I can see the, the most of, most of you this has made a difference and that's such a nice thing to see um so kathleen um you said does it matter which side you tap and you need to alternate you know you absolutely it doesn't matter you um um you can tap um both hands if you want you can tap one hand you can swap midway through it really doesn't matter it's what feels right for you it's about really connecting with your body with your feelings and going with, with what feels right. Um, <laughs> Eileen, you woke up for me. That's so nice. Oh, bless your heart. Chloe, um, I do live every uh, Friday and every Monday. And I do different things. Sometimes I do a Q&A about anxiety. Um, sometimes I do um, practical techniques. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so so these te these places that I'm um, um, tapping on, let's see, it just um, oh, you're in South Africa, Cheryl. That's so that's so so cool. Um, so Sophie says, can you tap on other places? Um, your forehead, maybe. So um, those are the tapping places. Those are the sort of um, accepted traditional tapping places. There have been more in the past. Um, but those are actually acupun acupuncture pressure points. So um, it's, um, I would say, follow those ones. Um, if you look on my, this will be uploaded to my YouTube channel, which you can access through my, on my profile, there's a link, a link tree thing, and there's lots and lots of free resources in there. So you can, um, you, you could, you could, um, you could, have a look on my YouTube and look at this and there's other shorter videos on my profile page which go through tapping and there's a thing at the bottom with a, a section on tapping um so yeah but oh I'm a bit waffling a bit <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me um oh gosh Tashina Rose Walking Eagle it's 3 41 a.m where you are so Blimey, gosh, well, it's really good to have you and it'd be lovely to see you again. Your, your name is certainly a beautiful name that I can uh, watch out for. I won't forget you, definitely. Michelle, I'm so sorry that you're feeling emotional and I wish I could, oh, I wish I could give you a hug. <laughs> but it's okay, you know, maybe keep doing a bit of the, a bit more tapping to just work through all of that. Maybe do some breathing, be kind to yourself. Maybe um, 
when someone that you know is um you could maybe go and see someone you know maybe someone's coming home and you can have a big old hug with them hopefully um hope that helps a little bit um let's see any more um yeah so lynn that's such a good idea saying to michelle that you know if you've got um if you've got pets and michelle that's probably not helpful for you but um but big hugs to everyone, you know, give yourself, hold yourself, give yourself that feeling. Um, there is a, a technique that I do, which is this, if you have a look, I know the video, if you look at it under anxiety techniques, it's this one, which um, I'm wearing a white, like cream jumper. And that's quite a nice one, a nice relaxing and healing one. And that at the end, you give yourself a nice hug at the end of that. So maybe have a little look at that, if that, that might be helpful. Um, so um, if, it, if that hasn't helped you, um, then, you know, please don't despair because, you know, you could maybe do more tapping. You could have a look at other um, things that I share on my page because this is part of, you know, part of self-care, part of techniques, part of breath techniques, and also, you know, part of the work that we do with, with therapists as well. So... I'm so glad that for most of you, you saw a difference there. That's amazing. And thank you so much for all, all the likes that I've seen, all the people following me. Um, so I really appreciate, I really appreciate um, that that you, you've done that along, along with me. It certainly makes me feel nice and calm too. Now, I have some questions that I promised that I would answer um, at the, the end of my live. So I've got 15 minutes left. Um, this will be recorded, it will be on YouTube. I do lives every Friday and Monday. My next one is this Monday coming at five o'clock. And this one is going to be, it's part, um, TikTok have asked me to be part of Monday Motivation. <laughs> so I'm going to be talking about motivation and what stops us being motivated, how we can perhaps motivate ourselves to do stuff that we mean to do. So that will be at five o'clock UK time this Monday coming. Um, so a question that I had was from Els and it was about being really anxious about going to uni and she was thinking that she was just going to drop out before she even got there maybe. So I, I have done a little video on this but there's lots of people who are heading off to new schools to uni at this time of year and it can feel really difficult um, and I completely understand that and I'm sure that ev everyone here who's been to school, which will be all of us, um, uh, who've started a new job, who've perhaps been to uni, will totally understand that sense of, oh, it's going to be so hard. Will I be able to cope with um, with the, the work? What will it be like being away from home? How will I make friends? Will I be lonely? Will I... All of those anxieties. And that's very natural to think that because our brain is running a, a scenario. It's running a simulation of the worst case scenario. Um, because if we think of the worst case scenario then we'll have plans in place to deal with it and you've already got a plan because you're thinking well I'll just drop out I'll just leave and actually that's probably not the best plan that's probably um, something that isn't you're not going to feel so great about afterwards so what could you do instead well I think it's really important to talk about your fears to talk to the people in your family to your friends about how you're feeling um, and to talk to people who've been to uni, who've done um, a year at uni already, um, and perhaps they can be um, be able to give you practical help and advice. Be kind to yourself. Perhaps use some of the techniques that I share, the techniques that bring you to this moment here and now, um, that help you with your breathing. Because what your brain is doing is it's rushing off into the future, imagining what's going to happen. And... That's your imagination. And because we have something called mirror neurons, our mirror neurons, which are um, it's a part, parts of our brain that um, make us imagine and feel something even though it hasn't happened yet. So we are imagining how awful it's going to feel. But that's not true because we don't know how it's going to feel. It might be um, an amazing experience. The chances are it will be an amazing experience and you'll make friends for life. So... Um, when you first get there, um, you know, go with people, <laughs> go with, you know, f family, 
hopefully to take you there so you so you settle into your hall of residence to your room to wherever it is you're going to be staying um and there'll be lots of other people there and for them they'll be experiencing similar stuff to you they'll be afraid shy all of those things and just be you smile ask them where they come from um, and before you know it you get that conversation going and yes maybe the first little while the first week or so will be a uh, tricky and there'll be times when you'll feel homesick but that doesn't mean that it's going to be like that forever um so um do um do be kind to yourself and give yourself time um now my moderator jasmine <laughs> hated me when I said this last time because she came forward with that's a safe health and safety nightmare but I do say that take a door stop with you to you so that you can have your your room door open and that sends a signal I'm available to chat if you fancy a coffee then um come along and so you can also you can go along um and see other people and say, oh, she fancy a coffee, fancy a cup of tea, something like that. That can be really helpful. So don't despair. Just take it a step at a time. You know, don't be too far ahead in the future. Just chunk it down to pack my stuff, get my stuff ready, have a nice time with my family, go to it, be there, sort out the first day, go to Freshers Week, join clubs, all of that kind of stuff. So I hope that helps a little bit. Um... The next one was from Laura. Um, Laura was talking about not being able to sleep, having insomnia. Um, insomnia is such a horrible thing. And usually insomnia, for most of us, the vast majority of us who can't sleep, it's because we've got something going on in our waking hours that is really difficult. Um, so look at your waking hours. Look at what's going on in your life. Have you got something big that's happening at the moment, something big coming up? Have you had something really difficult that you've been dealing with? Because the chances are that you're suffering from anxiety and that you're, um, you're hypervigilant, you're really aware, you're overthinking. Um, so if you can help yourself with self-care, with the techniques that I talk about during the day. Um, also, if you look at my website, there's free downloads that you can apply for and I'll just send them to you. Uh, no strings attached and that those often help people to get to sleep and if you wake up in the night again um, perhaps you can listen again and it, it can help you um, but your body will sleep when it needs to and it will sleep once you get this thing that's going a bit awry in your life sorted so that's my those are my thoughts on that I hope that helps Laura um, Luce, I sort of looked at yours a little bit. You said you're getting constant shaking at the moment. That can be lots of things. So I would advise you to go to your doctor. Anything physical that happens to you, any of us, it's always a good idea to go to the doctor or to the nurse, even to the pharmacist in your local chemist and say, I've got this thing. What, you know, could you help? Have you got any advice for me? Once you've got that medical, physical stuff, um, sorted and you know that oh yeah okay it's nothing physically wrong with me then the chances are that it's anxiety and it chances are that it's the release of adrenaline and cortisol into your system which make you shaky and it makes you feel all the physical symptoms that anxiety gives us so um and on my page there's lots and lots of help and advice with that lots of techniques to help you breath techniques physical techniques information telling you about anxiety um so do look at those because those can be really helpful, I hope. That's the aim, anyway. Um, and you can always, you know, go and find a, a therapist. So there's lots of free therapy out there. If you Google free therapy, there are private therapists that you can um, go and see. Um, and there's also, you know, in the, in the UK, there's the NHS. However, there are probably... Most therapists have a long waiting list at the moment. I mean, I've, I see people and I have a, a quite a long waiting list at the moment. But, you know, there is free therapy that you can access, which might be a starting point for you. Look at charities, places like Anxiety UK, Mind. Um, they all have really good resources that you can look at. So I hope that helps a little bit and look after yourself. Um, Claire, um, you were asking about how do you um, help yourself get over the trauma of um, a sexual assault? So I'm really sorry to hear that this is something that you've been through. Um, first of all, I want you to know that um, whatever you choose to do is absolutely right um, and that you're not alone in this. 
that there are people out there who can help you massively. Um, there is um, a group called the Survivors Trust, which can be really, really helpful um, um, and can help you find a, a, an individual who will help you through the processes of what you want to do, the pathway that you want to take. Um, so um, my, I don't know if my, my, um, my moderator, Vicky Hodson, is a massive expert on this. Um, and so um, I don't know, Vicky, if you're there, whether perhaps you'd be able to share the, the names of some, um, some of the charities. The Survivors Trust is really excellent. Um, and I've, it slipped my mind, the, the, other, um, the other things that you shared with me the other day. Um, but um, definitely don't suffer alone. You definitely can work to help yourself. And there are some amazing charities out there that can help you um, either with, with counselling, with support, whether you know you want to go to the police or not go to the police with that whole process. You don't need to be alone in this. So I hope that that helps you um, a little bit. If you wanted to message me, email me, um, then I can email you um, resources that um, I, I meant to write stuff down and I haven't, I've, I've failed, I'm afraid. Um, but um, hopefully, um, yeah, if you were to email me at sarah at sarahares.com, um, then I can send you stuff privately if you'd like me to. Um, so <laughs> I hope that helps. Um, so thank you all for being here so much. Um, I'm really grateful for those of you who have followed me, who've liked this live, who've made comments. My apologies if I haven't applied, replied to every single comment. Um, they come through so quickly. Um, RH, so I'm so f pleased um, you were mentioning here in the comments that you've enjoyed my download. So if you have a look on my profile page, there's, there's a link and there's lots of free um, free resources, you know, either from me on my website via the downloads, I've got three that are free, um, or if you have a look at my Quest Hub, lots and lots of resources on there, which are all free. Um, if you're looking for a therapist that does the same as me, I'm a Quest Cognitive Hypnotherapist, there's the QCHPA Therapist Finder, um, and so you can find people who are um, trained in the same modality as I am. But there are lots of other therapists too, whether you know you find a counsellor, a psychotherapist, uh, a psychologist, all sorts of therapists out there. It's about finding someone that you click with. Um, so let's have a look. Oh, I can see some, I see people are, uh, are requesting. With, with the downloads um, and the resources, the resources that are the downloads specifically, um, I have to, I'm like a, a little old lady sending to you individually. So don't despair. If they don't turn up immediately in your inbox, they will definitely turn up for you. Um, make sure that you get your email correct because sometimes I have them bounce back because someone's made a mistake on their email. But I will definitely send them to you, I promise. Um, it just, sometimes it takes me a couple of days if I'm away or if I'm doing stuff. Today I've got quite a busy day. Um, so I'm going into TikTok headquarters today, would you believe it? I'm going to be interviewed. <laughs> I feel like a celebrity. But um, anyway, so um, let's have a look. Any more, any more questions? Nadine, it's been lovely having you here. Yes, so Vicky, thank you so much. So Vicky Hodson is saying, um, if you ask to be referred to an independent sexual violence advisor, um, then that is the way to go. If you've um, suffered any sort of um, essay, um, then that is the way to go. Um, so thank you for that, Vicky. Um, I'm a QCH therapist. It has been lovely having you here. We've been doing tapping today. Um, I will upload this live to my YouTube, which you can access on my profile through the link tree thingy. Um, it's the top one, just says my YouTube. Um, you can go on there. It, it probably won't be until tomorrow that it's uploaded, but I promise it will be. Um, thank you so much to my lovely, lovely moderators 
to Vicky Hudson, to Lynn 250, who work so hard, who are just amazing, keeping this a safe space, and I couldn't do it without you two. Um, and, you know, Vicky Handlebars, Jasmine, Zanshin, who also helped me. Thank you to all of you who come along and support me. Um, I really appreciate it. I, I've set up this subscription thing, which I, I don't even know what it is. I'm going to ask today when I go in. So um, keep an eye on that because I don't want anyone to subscribe if I don't, I, if I don't know what it is. <laughs> I set it up and I'm not too sure what it is. So I'm going to ask that today when I go in and talk to TikTok. Um, but maybe that'll be something to look at. But I'll do, I'll do a post about it when I find out a bit more about it. But take care, all of you. Hopefully I'll see you on Monday for this um, Motivation Monday one. Um, thank you, Robert, saying that I'm a, a lovely person. <laughs> I do try. You know, I'm not perfect. None of us are, are we? So, but thank you for your kind words. Um, so next one is Monday at five o'clock UK time. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it today. If you have any suggestions for anything that you'd like me to do lives on, just please let let me know um, and I'll do anything that, that you fancy. <laughs> so um, yeah, take care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of, um, oh good, Nadine, I'm glad you're gonna be here. Who else is coming? <laughs> That's a bit mean, isn't it? <laughs> you can set a reminder if you want or you can register, it's all free. Um, oh, Michelle Kitch, I hope you're all right. I hope you're okay. Um, I know you're always so supportive of me. Um, Lynn, cheerio, my lovely. You take care. Hope you have a lovely weekend. Everyone, have a lovely weekend. Vicky, Nadine, Michelle, everyone that's been here. Oh, oh, my, my eyes have gone funny. Celine, that is so lovely. Is that Celine? I don't want to get your name wrong. It is Celine E. C. Yeah. So I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to um, wrap this up now and just stay. I like staying for a little bit just to say hello to people. Um, Julie Rees Deemer, so lovely. I'm so appreciative of, of you being here because it's so early where you are over in California. Thank you. Have a lovely weekend. <laughs> oh, and I am not in a good mood every day. You should have seen me yesterday, honestly. <laughs> Thank you ever so much, Evie. Bye-bye. Cheerio. Bye-bye, Nadine. Bye-bye, Michelle. <laughs> Take care, everyone. <laughs> oh, Del, we've just finished. I'm sorry. You joined. And um, <laughs> it's just finished. Always sending, sending you hugs, everyone. You take care. <laughs> Bye. Right, I'm definitely going to go now. Perhaps see you on Monday. And I'll I'll do a video from TikTok H oh didn't mean to do that from TikTok HQ let you know what it's like oh San oh San you missed it well I'm gonna upload it to the um to YouTube so it it will be okay I'm sorry you missed it that's a shame I wonder why um oh Eileen you love tapping and tap dancing do you know I I started doing tap lessons when I was um, an adult I was so bad at it. Gosh, I'd like to be a good tap dancer. It looks great. I'm going in November. I'm going to go and see Top Hat, which is going to be lots of dancing and da da do 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 do. You know, so that'll be fun. <laughs> have a good day. Have a good day. Oh, we have a, an hour difference. That's what it is, Sam. That's what it is. I'm so sorry. Oh gosh. Yeah, Eileen. I'll come to Tennessee. You can teach me to tap dance. That would be cool. Ah. Uh, Okay, okay. So I'm sorry that the timing was wrong. I will upload it. If I can upload it this afternoon, I will, San. I'm so sorry you missed it. Um, 